Hello everybody, so today we're going to be talking about a new project for small kitchen renovation for Natalia and basically this is the kitchen she has and it's it's uh, dated and she wants to renew it and refresh it and make it more functional so like always there's blind corners, unaccessible, weird, hard to get to cabinets and that's the biggest issue we have. There's not enough drawers everything is hidden behind you have to crawl inside your kitchen space and it just gets uncomfortable i mean it's a strain on your back and it doesn't function well drawers are the best thing you can have in a kitchen so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this a couple of different ways and we're going to review the cost of this uh, and compare the cost ikea or which is a standard cabinets versus custom cabinets and then give some recommendations and suggestions and then we're gonna work uh, this out based on the customers budget so let's begin basically the first thing that we can do is a basic you know to get an idea basic prices we're gonna start with IKEA uh, kitchen floor plan and uh, yeah so the the way the way you do it is the easiest way and the client doesn't want to spend too much money so she's really looking into just kind of refresh this make it new and functional and uh, that's what we're going to try to do so here is a kind of a video of this of this space so pantry cabinet recess above the fridge and make a note that this uh, ideally she would want it to bring it out but you see the bulkhead follows it and ideal in ideal kitchen renovation we would like to remove the bulkhead but it's adding additional cost you know roughly two thousand to the whole renovation because you have to remove the bulkhead you have to make the cabinet taller and you have to fix what you removed so there's going to be a bit of damage obviously and uh, we're probably not going to do that so again bringing this cabinet about the fridge is totally up to the client but I, but this will look kind of awkward that you have a uh, bulkhead above the pantry but nothing about excuse me about the fridge so the best idea the best option is and to keep the cost down is just to lay the delay out the way it is so the way we see it is the way we're going to redesign it and price it this is the this way you don't have to change your electrical, your plumbing, uh, your locations of the appliances, the floor is staying, so there's not much to this thing. We also, I also recommended to donate the cabinet to Habitat for Humanity, so I'm not sure which area you're in or if you can donate them. And what we do is when we come in to install, uh, to before we come to install, we, we will unscrew these cabinets because they are frameless cabinets. Not all the cabinets could be reused uh, so this is frameless it's very easy to take down you remove the doors you pop the cabinets down we put them in a the garage and then she can sell these cabinets because they're they are you useful i mean somebody could have it for a rental apartment for their basement bar for their diy project for their cottage there's so many good things that you can do to reuse these cabinets not to throw them out because they do hold together the doors are functioning and it still works so there's no need to put it in a garbage and it saves a couple hundred dollars on the waste because if we have to throw it in a dumpster it's a bit of it's a lot of waste and uh, so let's continue uh, she, like I said everything is staying the way it is we're just gonna refresh it make it new and give her some ideas and options and here we are in IKEA we go to my profile and uh, it's an automatic login for me again very you know very basic just to get an idea of the space I'm not going to be redesigning this exactly but the, this is basically you know you measure each wall and then you kind of uh, you can do a SketchUp file which is uh, you can look in another tutorial how to do that just of the floor plan or you can do a full redesign of the kitchen or you know you can figure out basically by yourself the numbers of cabinets that you need so you can get a quote on uh, on the IKEA website and and then you can that's your base price this is probably you know the best you can do by buying everything pre-made and then the other option is just to build it yourself from scratch which we I'm gonna make a video as well if you're so handy and you have the tools it's possible 
but it does take a little bit of knowledge of understanding cutting lists and how each cabinet is put together and how each cabinet is cut, each panel. It's not rocket science, but it is, requires knowledge. So here I'm gonna just do a quick, uh, for me, I'm just gonna do a quick floor plan of how this kitchen is. So we have 149.5 plus 12.5. Hundred sixty two seventy six. So line sixty two seventy six. See, this is the tricky part. So I made a floor plan in AutoCAD. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in SketchUp. So this just gives me a, a layout and then I can plan, uh, plan my boxes uh, according to IKEA standard cabinets. And uh, okay, so now I will need this to get started. Okay, so here we have our room, and this wall is basically wall A, it's 240, and we have 167, 167, and this wall we have B is 70, 
six. So kitchen cabinets, we're looking for a high cabinet and uh, the ceiling height is 96 minus 875, 87 is to the bulkhead. So we're looking at 80 inches high. Drawers, 24 wide. So we have wall cabinets, yeah we'll just try to do it without the SketchUp and see what comes out. And so we have the wall cabinets, Seven thirty twenty seven. Okay. So eighty minus thirty six, forty four. See, it's harder to to kind of design in this and then uh, doors. There you go. So that's going to be a filler. This is thirty thirty. 
and now it's 76. 76 minus 24 is 52. Okay, so we have four doors. Base cabinets for corner. So see the corner it's going to be hard to figure out this the sink cabinet but basically we can guess that it's a 30 33 and then the rest you have to work out on installation with the fillers and so this is base mm, one uh, double bolt sink 36 So instead of the stove, I'm just going to put that there, and then with drawers 24, and I want four, four banks. That's this cabinet here, and then there's another bank of drawers I have as well on the other side, which is going to be... Mm -hmm. Double 
bom. So basically, like I said, this is not an exact kitchen design. This is just a visual to give you an idea. Again, nothing is this. These are all cabinets are all separately. The pantry, I actually wanted a double door. So now I go tall, base cabinets, go with floor plan. High cabinets 80 inches with drawers 24. And they don't have. So 30 comes in double door. So that's the only thing that's available. Unfortunately, there's no options in IKEA and custom cabinets. I haven't worked this in a while, so I'm sure this door could be flipped both sides because it's all around. So we have the three drawers, we have a big door on top, then we have the fridge area. So this is like I said, all packed up. We have the, with the axis, but now uh, we can go back and I can. I can look at the cost of this. Save. Yes. Now my cost, item total price. There you go. So that's four thousand four hundred eighty-two. The first cabinet is uh, base corner with all the hardware. Here we have a sink as well. Uh, we have a faucet included, the hinges. Here we have drawers. We have more drawers. We just gotta add a garbage bin. Lots of drawers, pull-outs in this pantry. We have here. Here, here, that's another cabinet, two shelves. Okay. And this is a basic price. So to this we have to add finished panels, fillers, because there's a lot of work that's required. So it's not an easy installation because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in this in this corner um, because it's on an angle. Uh, so all the fillers and everything have to line up and, and work properly. So installation is a challenge. See how, so see how this cabinet so that goes on an angle so we gotta put a panel we have to install this and figure out uh, how it's we done so there's also actually drawers there's another bank of drawers mm -hmm. 